And I like, oh, I had a panic attack. And I grabbed you and she grabbed my wrist. She said, not right now. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I didn't look at him. But you, you can. <laughs> she looked at all I of them. <laughs> I didn't read thoroughly. <laughs> I don't want it to make it okay, about here. me. What, 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 you to, pulled the card. They're all about us. <laughs> no. What is the greatest lesson I taught you? Oh. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no. One by one. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready. I remember I said I had an answer oh, for that, yeah. and I don't think I wanted to answer it. See, well, God made me pull it again. So, so what you is the greatest answer. lesson I taught you? I don't know if I can talk about it, though. Whisper. Unless you're ready to talk about that on camera. What is it about? It's about... Oh, I've, I've been public with that. You sure? It's in my comedy. Or, I mean, okay. If you like... Yeah, <laughs> all right. Well, okay. listen, okay. no, we can talk about okay. it. Okay. Okay. I'm like, so should we talk about... about... Let's talk about it. Okay. I'm, I'm willing to... I'm, I'm, you know what? Let's do it. I'm walking in my truth. Okay. Okay. All okay. All all that. That. I'm not holding nothing in. That is something that I'm willing to well, talk about. I will. I will say that... Side note, that is a big lesson that I will say for her is that she likes to walk in her truth. Like, she does not... I don't like to hide, hide stuff. stuff. Mm-hmm. And I, 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 I appreciate heavy. that. Yeah. But, okay, so I'll just... Okay. Okay. All right. All right. This is an ass card. And then I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's talk about it. Okay, so when... Um, probably a year after... Starting this is crazy. to, I know. You've never discussed this. I know. This, we, what is we, it? We've never, we've never, we've never the, since it since happened. that day. We, we've we've talk, never not discussed. All right, about it. let's Joking. talk about it now then. Jeez, yeah. we're all waiting. This I know, is I know, I know, I know. I know. Let's just like, let us get the moment. Wow, on camera, I'm just like, is, wow. We've never really talked about this. Okay, so ever. Ever. After a Give year, me my drink, please. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get a sip. Wow. Too before. We've never ready. talked about this, so I'm glad you're getting it on the Know For Sure podcast. Because what I knew for sure then, <laughs> Jesus, was and that what I, I wasn't knew for sure then, I, I wasn't. I, I didn't. I don't agree with now. Wow. We were in Charlotte. It was All Star Weekend, and at the time, I was still living in Ohio, so I was flying mm. wherever B was because I traveled with her. So wherever we were, you know, I would meet her there, and um, we were in Charlotte. And she had an event, and I noticed, mm. like, B, are you okay? Like, what is going on with you? She was just super moody, mm-hmm. more than I've ever experienced from her before. I mean, like, she was every, like, I was like, this is so unusual. And her boobs were so big, and she was just so tired. And she, so she, I, we get to this event, and she's like, I think I'm pregnant. And I was like... Okay, let's figure it out. I was like, it's gonna be okay. I was like, no, well, maybe it's just and that event, it's your birth control. It's just and that event, that event crazy. Was the day I met my ex, my recent ex, but we this met was three years ago. Three years ago. Three years ago. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, fine, we'll get a pregnancy test and we'll figure it out. So I think me and her both kind of went on with that night, not thinking anything. Right? We're just like, okay, mm-hmm. she's not pregnant. Like we're not. She's not pregnant. Um, and so the next day, or that night, we had someone run to the store for us, and she took it the first thing in the morning. Like, literally, before she opened, like, I hadn't even opened my eyes yet. Mm. And I'm sitting in the bed, and she's like, you know, she gets up, and she goes to the bathroom. She comes out of the bathroom, and she's bawling. bawling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. And I'm like, and she's like, I, I'm pregnant. And I'm like, no. Wow. Because I knew who it was with. And I was just like, No. No, no, take take it again. Like, no. And I think there was two in the box. I don't know if you took the second mm-hmm. one or not. I don't really remember. No. But I remember God. her screaming. Mm. I remember her screaming and being like, oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so fucking stupid. I mean, she was so upset, so mm-hmm. angry at herself. She was screaming. She was mad. And I'm like, okay, so I'm, my role is to fix shit. I have to fix the problem or fix or find a solution. So I'm like, okay, let's... Well, all right, what do you want to do? Like, what is it that you want to do? Mm-hmm. And she's like, I can't keep this baby. Mm-hmm. Like, I cannot keep this mm-hmm. baby. I can't, Jesus. I can't, I can't. Mm-hmm. Now, the reason why this is the greatest lesson that she's taught me is because a little bit about me. I grew up in church, like church, church. Like, my mom is a licensed minister. Both my mom our has are pastors. Yeah, my mom has a master's degree in divinity. Like, my mom is mm. super saved, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and, but not religious, not like in a, you know, a judgment. Thumper, yeah, yeah, she's not a Bible thumber. She's not like these weirdos. But Do you she's... think time something happened, I'd be like, make an ask your mom. Ask your mom. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, I don't know. <laughs> for sure. Ask your mom. <laughs> for, no, like, for sure. she is our for sure. Mm-hmm. So, um, 
I didn't grow up with this idea that abortion was a good thing. Mm. And I was very judgmental of people who did it yeah. mm. growing up. Very judgmental. Wow. Like, how could you? Mm. Wow. How dare you? How could you? How dare you? Mm. It wasn't until I had my oldest son, I got pregnant with my oldest son, did that change for me a little bit when I found myself at an abortion clinic. Ooh. And that changed for me. I didn't even Because know I considered it. Right. I considered it. Wow. Because of the shame that I felt that I got pregnant at 19 <sighs> with somebody I barely knew. Wow. Um, and so pers- situations change your perspective, right? Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> we found a clinic, and because we needed to get there first thing in the morning, we canceled our flight and drove back to Atlanta. Mm. And I was supposed to go home, and she was like, you can't leave me. And I'm like, okay, no. No problem. Mm -hmm. I will drive with you back to Atlanta and I will leave when you need me to leave. No problem. So we get there. I make the appointment. You know, we get there. I take the pregnancy test and then I get on stage. Yeah. Keep that in mind. She still has, she still has to do shows. (laughs) I mean, this was only the second day we were there. So she still has to like work. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I was on stage like, (laughs) I'm just holding in my fucking tears. (laughs) No, she's laugh like, so she, I can not cry. She's on stage, and part of her set is talking about getting pregnant. Right. Mm. Wow. And she has to say something about an abortion, and mm-hmm. you said something or about like whatever. Like, You're like, and then she goes, mm-hmm. not, not that I've ever had, not that I've ever been pregnant. Mm. And it was like, because like, that's a part of my set. Joke. It's a part it's of her set. Joke. Yeah. Up so, until that moment, I had never been pregnant. And wow. so I was just like. I don't. It, it was so heavy on me because I didn't know how to feel. I didn't. I didn't want her to get rid of the baby at the time. I didn't. I didn't want her to do that. Mm. I did not want her to do that at that time. I just didn't. Yeah. And but at the same time, I knew she couldn't have that baby. I'm like, you know what I mean. So I was really it, it, torn. It goes to say, like, you never know. Never say never. Yeah. Right. Oh, for sure. Because when <laughs> I before then, my dad's a pastor. I'm. I'm Christian. I'm. Di- I'm never. I, I would never have an abortion. I would ne- well, I've never been pregnant either. Yeah. So when I got pregnant, I was like, "You need to make the appointment." Yeah. Like, it was a, it was it, a no yeah. brainer. It, it was wasn't a no brainer. Pray her. on it. Yeah, I didn't pray about it. I didn't think. I was like, "You know, oh. your heart immediately." It, it was an instant decision. Mm. Wow. Whether that was right or wrong, it was your decision. It was your decision. At peace, I felt at peace after it happened. Yeah, I didn't. I don't. I didn't think about it. Dream about it. Have anxiety about it. But I knew in, in that moment, I was like. Make the appointment. And I think that's the... <laughs> What's the closest? No. What's the closest clinic? But that's yeah. so important because so many women are afraid to make the best decision for them because they're afraid of what their parents might say, what they're taught, what they... The church what the church you, might what say. The church might say. Mm-hmm. So it's important it as was. a woman to... I think motherhood is so... Like, I commend any mother commend. that I know. Yeah, because it's such a, a huge life-changing decision, especially for the woman. Mm-hmm. Like, a, as a mother, yeah, it's like... always for the My woman. grandmother yeah. always instilled that, like, yeah, you can be married. You can have a, a long-term relationship, but those are your, your kids. kids. <laughs> as a, that's just you be, worth them. Be prepared to take care child. of those children all on your own. So I think that's yep. such a huge decision to make. And I don't think any woman should be shamed, whether oh, no matter what sure. the decision yeah. is. Let me tell you, laying down with the wrong person comes with a lifetime of consequences. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even yeah, that, you're not ready. Yeah. Even that, I don't have a child, but I still have to live with that decision I made. Yeah. yeah. You know, when yeah. it comes up in conversation or even in my comedy, I'm like, that did happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, but yeah, finish yeah. how. But so I want you to answer the question. Yeah. So when we got to the so when we got to Atlanta, we first thing in the morning we drove up to the clinic, and just that whole experience was just. I'll, now that as bad as my memory is, you I, remember. I remember every single remember minute every of that day. Wow. Of that, day. Of that yeah, morning, your memory is shot, shot wow. to wow. hell. Yeah. She has the worst memory, but shot. I remember every. I remember pulling up. I remember the people I'm, in line. Oh Jesus! The I remember amount past of people everybody. in line. The amount, the, like from the seconds that abortion clinic opened, it was packed mm. in there. Do you hear me? Packed. Jesus. I remember looking at each of their faces. I yep. watched who they were. I mean, I remember every single detail from that moment. Yep. So they bring Braylon to the back and they realized who she was and they were oh. like, let's make this private for you because we can't just have you out here like that, right? Mm-hmm. And she's crying, like Jesus. filling out the paperwork. No, before crying. we even got to that point. I remember the words that came out of your mouth when we were walking up to the window. And I I like, oh, I had a panic attack. And I grabbed you and she grabbed my wrist. She said, not right now. Mm. You're fine. Mm. Wow. You're fine. Mm. She was, was, she couldn't, she was was like like a movie. Yeah, it was. She said, she grabbed my wrist. She said, you're fine. 
grab the pen. You're fine. You're fine. Because it was her decision. And I didn't want yeah. to, even, in, even in that moment, when we got there, I didn't want her to do it. <laughs> I did not want her to do that. I was still, I felt and so bad. I never bad. knew this. She never told me I this. I felt Until bad. This moment, like, I never it still knew. makes me, like, kind of teary because it made me, I, I felt friend. bad. That's a great friend. Oh, for yeah. sure. But, um. Can we? Acknowledge that. Yeah, that's <laughs> what until I'm this that's very moment, friend. I never knew that. Yeah. But anyway, when we got you. there, um, I didn't agree with her. So, but that was her decision, and I didn't want, I didn't want to be responsible if she kept it. Yeah. And regretted it. Yeah. yeah. Or had a hard right. time or something. Wow. And too, because I have a child with special needs, and every and. Everybody, you don't know if that's going to happen or not. Yeah. You don't get pregnant and know if that's going to happen, especially with the type of disabilities mm. my son has. We wouldn't have known until after he was there. Mm. And so I thought about that. I'm like, what if her kid, or something's wrong? What if she, he has, you know, you just never know. So yeah. anyway, we get to the back, and um, mm. I remember we were, <sighs> she was getting, um, filling out her paperwork, and they were getting her prepped, and she's standing they gave you a shot or something. They gave you something was, prepped. Yeah. And I was behind I her. I took medication. You took you medication. About when I was laying down? No, I'm talking about oh. when we were in that waiting room mm -hmm. and I was sitting on the chair behind mm -hmm. you. I was bawling the entire time. I never knew. She And every time she turned around, I tried to like fix. I didn't want her to feel any guilt, anything. I was like, I want you to know that you're supported in this moment. So, but the whole time I was just so broken from it. Mm. So we brought, we go in the room to actually do the procedure and... You were able to go in the room with her? I went in there with her. I, and I think they they only let her in the room because of who I was. Who she was. They wouldn't have let me in the room yeah. prior, I don't think. But because of who she was, you know. And I just, I hated how, like, sterile the situation was. It was very, like, all right, da -da, I'm your sit doctor, down. sit yeah, down, ba -ba, open yeah. up. Yeah. And then you hear this loud machine. And, but she grabbed my hand. I'm laying down. She's laying I down. Remember I'm on this side of her. I'm laying down. She was on the right of me. I and had her she, hand. She had. She grabbed my hand, and as it started, I just started praying, and I closed my eyes. And she said, "Look at me." <sighs> she said, "Look at me." It was so. She dramatic. said, "Don't take your eyes off me. Just look at me, please. Just look at me." Mm. And she was like, "We're okay. We're okay." Mm. She was consulting me <laughs> in that moment, and I think the biggest lesson was for me was like, it's okay to face. Um, what you may have disagreed with. Mm. It's okay to face it head on. It's okay to look it in the eye and, and see it from a different angle. And even in tragedy, mm. God is still beautiful. He's still working. And he's still working he's still it working. out. And it was such a moment for me to not look away, I think. Not, don't run from this. Mm. Look at it. Look at her. This is what's happening. Look at her and just be there for her and just support her and just love her. It doesn't matter what you think, what's right or wrong, but look at it. Don't run from that. Don't run from this moment.